Hey, what's up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Last episode, we entered the asylum just after everything started to go downhill. We started to see some crazy things. Uh, the Leviathan spoke to us. Uh, we interrupted a ritual, and if you haven't seen the last episode, I recommend you watch it. Uh, that will be down in the description below. But, spoiler alert, Bradley died. Officer Bradley. Oh, God! He supposedly died, but he's actually still alive. Uh, we've crossed over that threshold of, like, we're not going to be able to tell what is reality and what is not. So, it's going to be a fun ride from here. Right now, we have set off this, uh, electrical thing, I guess, to confuse the guards. And now we have to escape from the asylum. If I recall correctly, there is a place in the main area that I can go into, uh, to use the wheel for the vents or something. I don't know if that- if I'm supposed to do that? Oh, yep, someone is definitely here. He sees me. God damn it. Okay, I gotta go around now. Ooh, what is he doing? Oh god, this is bad. <laughs> oh. Something is happening, I don't like the sound of all this. Oh crap, I can't remember which way- oh, good god. Okay, this was one of the areas. That's the kitchen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This guy's always patrolling. He might actually be coming out. Is he coming out? Uh, okay, we're good. I had to go around the long way, I guess. I guess that's another, uh, obstacle here. It might be this way. Because I have the- the- yes! Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, I think we're safe. Whew! Whoa. Okay. Oh, right. Okay, I have the, uh, the wheel. I can't use it. I can inspect it, I guess? I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> okay. I guess I can't use it here. Uh, okay. I could flip that switch. That's basically all I can do. This lever must turn on the gas machine. Right. So, can I flip it? Turns on the gas machine, but how do I turn it off? Okay, maybe it wasn't over here. What in the hell? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I need to be doing. It says escape from the asylum. Where is the, uh, where do I go for that? I guess this room, maybe? I've always been confused about this room. Like, what exactly is going on? Oh, right! Exit. I'm dumb. Ha 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 ha! I better sneak. Oh, there's a door here. <gasps> oh, God, what was that in the corner? What the hell was that? Oh my god, yeah. Doctor. Hey, Sanders. Is that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. He's not gonna come with you, man. Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. Mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. <sighs> you need treatment. Oh, I can't? Damn it. I wonder what I could do. What did they do You're to you? Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. Uh, oh wait, that's the secret of Sarah Hawkins. What do you know about the Hawkins? That's the secret. I guess- Is she cursed because of something she did to you? No, no, it's because she's cursed that she harmed me. On purpose. You say that Sarah Hawkins harmed you. If it were only me, her conscience, her guilt were eating her away. But she never wanted all that. Well, not really. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. That we should never have met. What are you talking about? 
destiny! It has trapped you! you don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. What? What? Holy shit! What the hell? Oh God. I got, I got Jesus it. Christ! This is insane. What killed him? Do you hear the breathing? Oh god, I was hearing breathing. I wonder what else he had to say. What in the fuck just happened? Okay, what is this? I wish I could read this, but clearly... Cephalopod-like. Alright, I'm a bit speechless. Okay. What?! What the hell is that? Guys! Okay. I'm going to assume that that's ambience. I'm going up here. Okay, it's not ambience! I'm going out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Front door. Is it locked? It's not. I can actually leave? Oh, but I don't want to. Shit. Oh, I guess I'm stuck here. I see. Okay. I can't go back now. Alright, let's go into the door. Okay. God damn it, dude. It's so loud in my ear, you have no idea. You guys are safe, somewhat, because I've turned the volume down for you. <laughs> Get out, dude. Get out. Oh, no. I've been stricken. It's all over, man. God, this breathing, it keeps getting louder. Okay, I guess I gotta go out this way. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm diseased. Of course it's locked. Alright, there's gotta be an area in here where I can put the, uh, valve in. And turn this off. I can't see anything though, Jesus, I'm blind now! Oh! <laughs> I've already been- I've already been messed up by it. Alright, this door maybe? Locked. Good. For very good reason. I have one way to go. Wait, what was that? Oh, I'm fine now. Yay! Somehow, being in this room- Damn. Yes. What? Okay. New place discovered oh. cellars of Riverside Institute. Yo, what's My up, dude? Head. Later. We need to move on. Chapter 6. Holy crap. All right. Holy crap. Okay, Pierce woke up in an asylum installed uh in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. He met Dr. Colden, a female friend of Bradley who helped him escape. Uh, wandering through the corridors of this place where Dr. Fuller reigns supreme, Pierce was able to talk to a man called Francis Sanders. Before dying in full view of the detective, he accused Sarah Hawkins of being the cause of his torments. P uh, Pierce finally left the accursed building, accompanied by Bradley and Colden. Oh, she's with me too? Dope. The companions in misfortune decide to use the Hawkins mansion as a hideout. All right, we're going back to the, uh, mansion. What the... Whoa. Ooh. Uh, Christ! Dude, please. <gasps> Who goes there? <laughs> you're, you're going mad. That nightmare Pierce. again. I need a drink. Nightmare again? What are you talking about? We've never had that nightmare. Oh, wow. It's beautiful here. Okay, so Officer Bradley's on my side, right? Who knows what we could do if you say it's true? What? Oh. Damn, I wish I read that. I missed it. 
I could load the checkpoint. Let me let me load that back up. Oh my god. Is this a Leviathan? Okay. He's talking she's talking about Fuller. Excellent. Okay, I want to consult my journal first of all cuz I want to read about uh, a little bit more about Wait, where are you at? Oh, sanity, right. Did I see? Ooh. Yep. The weirdness of Francis Sanders' death went far beyond anything Pierce had ever seen. Lifted off his feet by an invisible force, the poor man's body was carried into the air before being thrown violently against the bars of his hiding place. Pierce, powerless, watched the limbs break and Sanders' body crumble to the ground. During long moments of agony, the detective saw nothing that could explain this event. Weakened by his wounds and the operations he could remember undergoing, Pierce begins to question his ability to tell the difference between reality and the nightmares that haunt him. I have three CP, dude! So, I'm gonna go up. Spots hidden, apparently everyone is saying that I should increase this, so I'm gonna do this twice. Uh, and then bring my eloquence up. Uh, because spot hidden means I can find extra clues that can tell me a little bit more about things when I reconstruct places or I find items, so that's gonna help. There he is. Poor guy. He's an art dealer. Deceased. Francis Sanders knew Sarah Hawkins so well that he accused her of being the source of his suffering. The man gouged his eyes out with his own hands and smeared the walls of his cell with esoteric symbols. Oh, also, you guys said the symbols with the star and the eye in the middle is an anti, like, elder god thing, right? Like, it's supposed to repel Cthulhu and the, the old ones, uh, from- I don't- I don't know if we've gotten that far in the story yet, or even if the story is going to touch on that, but according to Lovecraftian lore, that is used to repel the old ones from accessing the people, or getting near them, I guess. He died before my eyes in circumstances that I cannot explain. Yeah, no... No shit, dude. Okay, well, this has been crazy. I'm going to go, uh, down here and meet them. Wait, can I go into this room? I can. No. Oh. I want to know what Bradley and Dr. Colden have to say about Right, this. I probably need to explain to them what the hell happened to You're Sanders. Awake, Mr. Pierce. Hey. How do you feel? I'm all right, can I sit down? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. All right, let's talk to Bradley. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but... That'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. <laughs> I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? Oh, boy. Um, Sarah Hawkins was an object of the cult. I wish I could say that. Talk to Bradley. Uh, what they had me endure... I might be on to a lead talk to Colden. Let's, yeah, let's try I have it. flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? <laughs> what happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. All right, Bradley. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Holy shit. Uh, talk to Bradley, dude. Let's find out what's going on. You did see Charles... Oh, let's actually continue this... Oh, I found this. What? I found a dark water PD badge. Lost a colleague recently? What the... Bradley. Ethan? I'm all right. I just had a... It's gone. You're sure? If it's important, it'll come back. But I can't explain why Dr. Fuller would have that badge. The man's a danger, believe me. 
What can we do, Pierce? <laughs> you tell me, my guy. Um... Come back. Okay, let's talk to Colden. Uh, did Fuller fund? Okay. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? Man, I gotta say, um, the voice acting is great in this game. And, I mean, a top-notch. I'm serious. Uh, but... Pierce's voice actor is fucking insane. Like, it is so good, it's convincing. I almost don't even acknowledge it. Like, that is an actor. You know what I mean? Like, I love when when voice actors or actors in general can do that. That they can relay this character to the viewer in such a way that it becomes believable. Like, there's a difference between watching a medium, uh, like like at a play or theater where you know it's over the top, it's very dramatic and it's supposed to just kind of be an artsy recreation of something. And then there's also the the art, the, the medium that resembles real life, that uh, emulates it, right? So you have Pierce, who has been going through a lot, like, especially when we went down, when we first fell down that hole in the cult area, right? When he started having the panic attack, that was the most believable voice acting I have heard in a very long time. If not, Probably the best I've heard. I don't know why it's so good, but who if whoever you are, I'll find out soon enough. Uh, amazing work. Seriously. Anyway, I saw a dead body. Dr. Fuller <laughs> seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. I just need to get the evidence from this guy right here first. Okay, let's talk to Bradley. Um, you and Dr. Colden. Oh, wait. Ooh. Hold to test psychology. Oh, okay. You two know each other pretty well. Jesus, that it's was a loud. a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> Aww. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. <laughs> that was actually adorable. Ah, oh, you fuckers. You're so cute. Okay. What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Oh. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? Okay, so this is kind of weird because, yeah, your memory seems to be failing you. I'll say that next. Um, it just seems, like, it's very weird. Like, did it happen? I could have seen it. I very well could have seen it because he started getting into a panic state before that, you know? So, like, I fell down the hole, he got into a panic attack. I could have just imagined him there, or my dream was connecting to it. Again, this is Lovecraft, so who the fuck knows, man? Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. This place. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. 
Let's talk about something else. Okay. I'm starting to get this idea that he's in on it. That Charles knew that too. He went in with me to make sure I don't cause any harm to what he's a part of. Charles recognized me, knew the situation, and knew he had to fake kill Bradley in order to make me run or convince me to leave on my own or to, I guess, to convince myself that I've gone insane. This seems kind of like a spontaneous plan, but it could be possible. I just feel like, I mean, clearly something's going on with Bradley. All right, so I might be, wait, let me check with her. Nope, okay, we're going back. I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course, he's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell yeah. me how Mr. Sanders died. He called him the Shambler, a sort of crisis. Yeah, let's try that. I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said... It was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. Oh, you know, that's Francis a... Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. That's a stretch. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. Yeah, and the truth is kind of hard to swallow, like you said, Bradley, so... <laughs> I really want to tell her the truth because like aside from solving this case, I'm kind of curious about what the fuck is even happening. Uh, I'm going to tell her the truth. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her God. Mad. Oh Better my god, dude. Ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's yeah. widow. Perhaps Shit. I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. Yeah. Well, maybe if you did your job and protected me, Bradley. Okay, so that affected my destiny. I've been told that there are many endings to this game. So I'm going to have... I might do the multiple playthroughs of this. Still confused in my head. Yeah. I understand, dude. I understand you're dumb. Let us go now and learn the truth about what's happening on this island. All right, let's do it. But let's explore first because I want to see if I missed something in here. Uh, can we actually go back to the tunnels? Is that possible? Because I would like to- oh no, it caved in. But there has to at least be- yeah, let me go upstairs again. There has to at least be the bookshelf that opens up, right? Unless I'm totally losing my mind here. Oh, it leaves no matter what. Crap. Alright, I'll leave the top floor. Chapter 6, Sanders Residence. Uh-oh. What the hell is this? Museum? Uh, Pierce, Colton, and Bradley decide to team up to solve the Sarah Hawkins case. Yay. They have a new trail to follow Francis Sanders, an art collector and friend of the painter who died right in front of Pierce. The detective goes to his house in order to speak to his widow about the shambler uh, that the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. Yeah. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. That was easy. I think she's just drooling However, over this guy. Before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Oh shit! Well, well, What's up, cat? Here? You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. Nah. The main thing is she that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. 
Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, mm. I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. Has nothing to do with you, but you're at every depth. All right, come this on. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. Yeah. You got any drinks? <laughs> Can I get a drink, lady, please? She does. Look at that. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. <clears throat> he spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Oh shit, she knows the details. Uh, at least as far as what happened to him. Uh, he died screaming- <laughs> Oh, come on, dude! Some sensitivity! Jesus Christ! I was no longer- I was no longer there when it happened. You're taking it quite well. You must not feel guilty. Whoa! God! Ah! <laughs> this is a hard one, dude. I don't want to say any of these. You're taking it quite well. She's clearly not. I was no longer there when it happened. No, I don't want to lie to her. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, Alright, he died screaming. He started raving. Screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. She doesn't know he scratched out his oh, eyes. See that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror. It's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? Dude, chill. I'm not really sure of what I saw. Or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. Yeah. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Mmm. True culprit is fuller. It wasn't me who sent him there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do With that. With all due respect, Mrs. Sanders, it was you who sent him to oh, this asylum, Oh, no, not I me. didn't mean that one! How dare you! No! What was I supposed to do, Detective? God damn it! I didn't think Upon it- Upon seeing such a, a brilliant mind disintegrate in this way, waking with a start every night with him, shrieking in horror, petrified before this accursed painting, unable to look away, until he managed to gouge his eyes out with okay. his own hands. I should have listened to Dr. Fuller, let him intern him months ago, if I am to be condemned, it is because I did not act sooner. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. I'm sorry. God damn it. God damn it! How was I supposed to know? How do you know Sarah Hawkins? What is Cat? How do you know Sarah Hawkins? How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? We were the wealthiest and most influential families on Darkwater. Of course we would know each other. And when Charles returned from Europe with his sweet little artist, she and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. He's got a gallery. Okay, so... Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else oh, to paint such horrors? Good God. Take a look for yourself. No, thank if you. If you feel so inclined. Nope. It is my only lead at this stage. No, Pierce, you're I good. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Ah, you're fine, dude. Then Just you don't have do paid it. no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. She didn't even offer me a drink. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. I actually don't want to see it, so... Oh, wait. 
Ooh. Haha. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Any books to read? There's a picture here. The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Oh no. Oh no. The day uh photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Sanders. They must be close. Yep. No, 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 no. Oh shh. Wait, really? Oh god, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very, very bad. Oh god. I am not ready. Alright, what is this? A house of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? It's a good observation. Uh, Jesus, man, you are one great detective. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? I don't think you want to know the answer to that, dude. I don't think you do. What is this? Is this the painting? Oh, shit. He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? I don't know. What even is it? It looked like a mouth. Jesus Christ. He didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Damn. How is he seeing this? Is she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Oh, dude, that's an obvious. That's a given. She is absolutely jealous with his obsession with her. I mean, obviously his obsession with her just goes in the form of the artwork and not necessarily about anything else, but oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. All right. Ah! Oh, what? Whoa! Jesus, dude! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The Shambler. I need to see no, it. No, 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 no! No, we don't need to see it, dude. Come on, we don't- What? That's Irene! You're the one bleeding from the eyes, lady! Oh my god, dude, I can't do this. This is absolute insanity. Did she really care for him, after all? What? Dear madam, I acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I am sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his interment, you signed a discharge allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences. Whoa, she didn't do that. She didn't do that. Why would she write a letter then afterwards? Okay. It's clear you don't understand that. Medicine. Yes. Good. How am I looking? Oh, yeah, one more. Okay. Spot hidden. I'm gonna increase that a little bit. 34% medicine. Pretty good. What are all these paintings? Mountains? It's the same one, except messed up. Covered in barnacles. It's a tower and clearly some kind of cephalopod. Oh, skulls in the middle. I see that. Are these all from Sarah? Whoa, okay. All right. That was so subtle, I almost questioned whether or not I saw it. Well done, game. GG's. That was very good. Okay, it's locked. Oh no, dude, I don't, I don't, I just don't. Oh, there's our car. Nothing but emptiness outside. I almost feel like this island is just isolated from reality, you know? It just seems so strange. Okay, so I need to go to the left. Anything over here? Oh, hey. Let's see what Jesus. this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Is that... Is that Lovecraft? I'm pretty sure that's HP. <laughs> Sanders session one. Let's see what the cylinder has to say once it's inserted in the phonograph. An audio recording of Francis Sanders left for his wife, Irene. Is that supposed to be him, but he looks like Lovecraft? That's pretty cool. All right, let's put it in here. Is she going to let me play that? Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids. Each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. Francis, I should never let them take you away. What have I done? Everything is 
was my fault. Please don't blame yourself for that. Dude, he was mad. Nobody should enter. Except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Whoa. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him. Oh no, are we getting there? Are we getting there? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, cat. What's up, girl? I could use one of those. <laughs> Wait, can I actually take it? I found the sleeping pills in the Sanders house. Whether prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene. Ooh. Right. I think we all have trouble sleeping on this island, dude. I can't imagine that we don't. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting. To finally give it away for nothing. Yeah, dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning for you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the Shambler. Your friend- Oh god, this is so bad. I'm so scared to see this. This is not gonna be- Ooh. Oh, I thought it said something. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Uh, this volume spends some time on Reverend, uh, Wixwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend's congregation are having since their arrival on the island. Some members of the community her husband included, began to speak of their vision as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. Oh shit. That's deep. Okay. Oh, strength. Hey! Oh! Key to the Sanders Gallery. Oh, what if I didn't have enough strength for that? That's actually kind of nuts. What is this? Would you read the book? Uh, what does it say? No, I wanted to read it. I wanted to read it. I wanted to read it. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Beyond reality. It is a kind of encyclopedia of monstrous and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Yeah. Beastier. Oh, no. There's volumes of it, too. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Thank you. What did I learn? What did- what happened? Sanity. What did- oh. The book. Pierce wrote an ancient treatise, the Malleus Bestiarium. This bestiary makes an inventory of numerous creatures from the occult world or parallel dimensions. The very nature of its knowledge makes it an unholy book. By reading it, Pierce lost some of his sanity. What in the hell is that? That's mental trauma. Look at my sanity, dude. <laughs> the ordeals you have gone through have left their mark, but you still manage as best as you can. Uh, you keep your mind busy in order to chase away doubts and painful memories. You still have some way to go. Who knows where your mind could lead you along the paths of insanity. That's true. This is gonna be bad. This is so bad. This is bad. Men will gather the knowledge through the lines dictated to me by the great old ones. Uh, but also in other volumes. The visions that assail me whisper me names and silhouettes of mystical creatures. Soon the Malice Monstrorum, repository of all anatomical, cosmic, and dimensional knowledge, will be seen as the authoritative work. This book, unholy among the most cursed books, will one day be the final rampart between man and the predators that are waiting to devour him, hidden behind the veils of parallel dimensions. Extract taken from the Malice Ohm by Abigail. That is so insane. That is so insane. <gasps> what the hell is that? Dimensional Shambler, Dimensional Shambler comes from a dark and inhospitable dimension where the rarity of food sources keeps it in a state of permanent starvation. This is why it is in a constant state of readiness to travel to other dimensions in order to... <laughs> Wait, slow down game, please. Please slow down. In order to feed on its inhabitants. Make sure you never weaken the veils of your dimension, otherwise you risk attracting this very dangerous creature. Should this happen, you just have to lay eyes upon it for its being to anchor itself into your dimension and allow it to rip you open with its claws. Extract taken from- oh my Jesus fucking Christ, look at that goddamn thing. Okay. This is too much. Okay, this is- this is a lot to process. Otherworldly dimensional beings. 
Key to the Sanders Gallery. Key to the Sanders' own gallery. Francis Sanders must uh, possess quite a collection of art for him to have his own gallery. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this, dude. <sighs> Got the key. I want to talk to Cat, but... Oh. Uh-oh. Haha. -ha. Dissertation on an anatomical question. Uh, it is the work of a student in book form. Although the observations are relevant, they lack the expertise of an experienced physician. However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. Yeah, medicine progression. Okay, that actually should be a good boost, right? No, it's only four. Or two. Just two. All right, let's talk to Kat. <laughs> let's talk That's to Kat. twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. All right, I've been through I've some shit. I've got a lot of bad habits. Yeah. Some can be more fatal than others. Whoa. What have you come looking for in this gallery? <laughs> Another painting by Sarah Hopkins or Hop, 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 Hopkins Hawkins got to verify the paintings for a buyer I'm not here to create problems for you. It's none of your business <laughs> I'm not here to cause trouble if that's what's worrying you worry me Don't overestimate yourself if the last beating wasn't enough for you. I can always give it another go But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. Okay. Thank you. And you, what are you doing here? And you, what brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. You're gonna read that book? You're insane. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I tried to actually... Oh, I'm gonna lose my shit, dude. I can't do this. Okay. Oh, game is saved. Wow, this is a gallery and a half. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Text on stone. Can't even really read it. And we got a sacrificial dagger of sorts. Oh my god. That's not normal, dude. That's added. Oh, <gasps> it's what she drew. This is her. Yeah, it's obviously her painting, right? It's the other thing she drew. Did he just say hmm when I looked at that? That's great. Oh boy. These artifacts date from pre Columbian times. Yeah, that's a bit weird, I will say. No. No, dude, I was so scared. I was so scared that I was going to interact with this thing and I'm going to. There's no way that wouldn't be there if I if oh my god. I'm just going to sit here for a second. Oh, good god. I mean, she is an artist. This stuff is beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I have other things to look at right now. All oh, the people are hovering too. That painting is haunting me, dude. That painting is haunting me. Dude, what is wrong with this guy? Where does this the go? The public entrance to the gallery. Oh, right. Okay, so is everyone who laid eyes on it cursed now? This entire island, basically? Oh, who is this? That sucks. Oh. Oh, good. Oh, just what I need. Two hiding spots! I am so... Oh my god. Oh my god, these are so frightening. Just utterly disturbing. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Yeah. That's a good question. Here's a giant version of that. Smaller one. I mean, this is a good gallery. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be incredibly interested in all this stuff. Look at this. One's buried in the rock. How do you even get that in here? Oh god, I'm getting so close to it, dude. I don't I don't want to see it. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yeah. Have you not noticed that yet? God, he's so observational. Whoa. What the hell, man? I don't think I can interact with any of this. I really just don't want to get close to that thing, man. I'm trying to see what's outside. Maybe there's an Easter egg. Maybe Cthulhu's up. At this time of night, maybe he is. What is that? Ink? Oh, it's... Okay. Fuel. Oh my god. 
It is a beautiful piece of work, but my goodness. All right, let's do it. God, no, no, no. All right, I knew it. I mean, duh. Duh, this was gonna happen. Duh! Oh my God, Pierce, please turn around. Holy shit, dude. Dude, please look at it so you know what you're looking at, dude. Just look at it. Oh, wait, no, don't look at it. Never mind. I'm just kidding. Please don't. I totally forgot. Don't look at it. Okay, I can't look, right? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, God, dude. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I just hide? Do I just hide? Okay, I'm going to hide. Oh my god. It knows I'm in here. It knows I'm in here. Dude, look at that thing. Jesus, no. What do I do? Do I gotta I gotta get out, right? Oh god! Oh! Ah, I went the wrong way! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Oh I'm dead! I'm dead! There's no way. Hello? Oh my god! Oh, I'm dead. Oh my god! Okay. Whew. Sorry. Uh, again, it's very loud. I didn't know what I would have- I thought I was gonna see it. But then I saw the closets, and I realized I would have to run from it. I don't know what to do. Do I just stay in there? Because I feel like if I stay too long, I go insane, right? Like he starts having a panic attack. Oh god. Okay. I'm gonna hold the skip. Should be ready to go. Examine the, the shambler. Done. What am I supposed to do? What's my objective? You're gonna tell me? Shit. Shit. I can't look at it. I can't look at it. I can't tell which way it's coming. Which way is it coming? It, it saw me. Oh God. I'm running. I'm running. Oh God, it's coming. It's coming. No, 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 no. Ooh, I hate that. I hate that so much. No, you don't know where I'm at. Come on. Ugh. This is nuts, dude. Everything is happening so fast. <laughs> we just learned about this book, saw the creature unexpectedly, and then this thing is, is killing us. Uh, okay, I don't know what to do. I fucking hate that. I hate running away from something. Like, when I- there are tons of games where you have to hide in cabinets, uh, horror games, and I hate being chased by something, not knowing where it is behind me, and then taking forever to open it up and get inside, turning around and seeing it there. That's the- my least favorite thing ever. So, we gotta not let him know- What the hell was that? Dude, you fucking tell me, man. I cannot turn on my light. Okay, there it is, there it is. It's coming over here, right? So I can walk behind him. Yeah, I'm listening- I'm using my 3D sound. <gasps> Shit. It made me run, it made me run. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I have to hide? Can I leave? way now? I don't know what to do. I can't hear him. I literally can't hear him. This is so bad, dude. This is so bad. I'm assuming I have to go into the door that I came in from, right? <gasps> dude, I almost went out. I almost went out. No, dude, don't open it accidentally. Come on. He's having a bad panic attack. He's still in the room. Dude, don't fall out. I'm sorry, you have to deal with it, dude. Have Let him pass. Let him pass. Let him pass. Okay, okay, okay. okay. calm down, dude. Calm down. Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. I don't know what he's doing. I'm afraid. Shit, I think he's coming this way. Okay. Please don't- oh no. No! 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 Oh, thank God. Oh, thank fucking God. Please let me out of here. Oh, God! What? I can't even touch it. What? No you... way out. No choice. I must get rid of it. What are you telling me to do? Fight this thing? Oh, no, dude. Can I burn the painting? Is that what I- can I do that? He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Shit. Let's go that way. Go that way. Jesus, dude. Which way is he going? I can't tell which way he's going. He's gonna come back around here, isn't he? Shit! No! Oh, dude, this is ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Go away. Go away! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No. No! Playing ring around the goddamn Rosie with this bitch! Jesus Christ! Go! Just go the fuck away, dude! Is he coming over here? Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, I'm going. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to <laughs> The change of tone far from possessing uh, the talents of Sarah Hawkins, Sanders drew a dagger with a tortured form down to the smallest detail. Uh, the guard carries a strange esoteric symbol, a recurring feature in his correspondence with Sarah. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? I actually have no idea what to do. He's gonna come back up here and I'm gonna die. I can hide behind the painting and it's all good, right? As long as I don't make eye contact with him, I'm fine. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is actually- this is actually really, uh, this is really getting to me. The anxiety of this is ridiculous. Shit, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, God! Oh God! Oh God! I'm running! 
light. Maybe light hurts him. Oh, wait. I have that thing, right? Come on. Light. Light. Aha. Light. Does it work? Oh, my God. Dude, does it work? What do I do? I don't understand, dude. I don't get it. I just don't get it. All right, one more time, and I'm just gonna fucking run for it. I'm going up to this. Came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Maybe if I destroy it. How do I destroy it? Jesus. Okay. Oh, destroy it with a dagger. I'm dumb. That's why he says, hmm. Give me that. Down. Oh God! Oh God! Jesus Christ! Okay. All right, I, I, I've had enough. I know what to do. I will do it in the next episode. I am so done right now. Jesus Christ! All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.